What's going on you guys? This is MaxKD. I have another Lenovo ThinkCenter desktop PC model A58E. Gonna be upgrades. So I'm gonna do remove the side cover panel. There are two screws in the back. So you'll have to use a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna slide it to the left. First I'm going to do is remove the hard drive, disconnect the SATA and power. And on the back side is a back plate you have to remove for the video cord. And it's using uh, only just one screw. And there's a little secure pin right here in the corner. See right there, you have to press it down with your finger so I can remove the video cord through PCI Express times 16 slot. And I want to go ahead and disconnect the power supply because I'm going to be upgrading. And a 24 pin, it's got a 4 pin, uh, see a little pin right in the middle, secure pin you have to press on. Same with the 4 pin for the CPU power. It's got 4 screws in the back, so I'm going to use a... Uh... Using a drill. It's got a uh, 800 and uh, what is it? 800, 880 watt. 880 kind of small, yes. Yeah, so actually, yeah, it's 180 watt max. Gonna be installing a 350 watt because I'm gonna be uh, upgrading the V card for uh, light gaming. And before we guys do that, I'm gonna. Upgrade the CPU also forgot about that. So I'm gonna do is need to start up from the top. So let me get another screwdriver. It's got an Intel Core 2 dual, uh, dual core processor. I'm going to be upgrading guys to Intel Core 2 quad. Uh, the Q8400 uh, running at 2.6 gigahertz clock speed. So the heat sink is removed. Now I have to take a paper towel and wipe that old thermal compound from the CPU before you remove it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a, either you can get a piece of paper or I'm going to use this. I have to remove the old thermal compound from the CPU cooler heatsink. See right in the back, it doesn't come off really well. So I'm just gonna use uh, either you can use a credit card, or debit card, and just scrape it off like this. And just take a 91% rubbing alcohol. Just a small amount, not a lot.
it's good enough. Now you're gonna take this and wrap it around because around, you don't want to get inside the motherboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the the old CPU that's a dual core and upgrade into Intel Core 2 Quad Q8400. And the way you guys are gonna be install it is uh, you will see see the camera can zoom in. Okay, so let me try to zoom in the camera. So to see the corner right here, one left, one right. That's the same way you're gonna install in the motherboard. So there's one corner here in the left and one in the right. That's how you're gonna be installing back. Now what I will do is upgrade the memory using the DDR2 and it's not a match pair. It's got four gigs. And I'm just gonna install the match pair DDR2. So it's not the same. It's a PC266400. And I'm using the match pair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install back the heat sink. Before you do that, you're gonna apply a thermal compound right in the middle. And just use the Arctic, either Silver 5 or MX2 or MX4, they're pretty good. Install the back like this. Oh, first we're gonna do that is I'm gonna Connect back the CPU fan back to the motherboard. Don't forget, right here in the corner. And I'm gonna screw it back on. Now I'm gonna install guys the power supply. And it's a uh, 350 watt. It's an Antec. So I'm gonna take the drill. And all to do is connect the uh, CPU power, the four pin, and you're gonna connect the uh, 24 pin also. This is be right here in the corner, and the 24 pin. You're gonna connect back to the uh, optical drive for the power. And what I'll do is at the same time, I'm gonna install the video card. I'm gonna be you guys using uh, 
So a VGA GTX 750 Ti and it's a uh, it's a single fan. It's got a Display Port, HDMI port, and DVI port. Pretty nice. You can use this for light gaming. And we're gonna be installing through PCI Express Time 16 slot where the white slot is. See the yellow slot is where? That's where we're gonna be installing that. So it's using two PCI slots. And there's one PCI slice see right here, the bracket, it's kind of like in, built into the case, so you have to remove it. To do that, I have to use uh, pliers. He's going to gently, and it comes right out. So the video card is installed. Now what we'll have to do is put this play back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install from the hard drive. I'm gonna be guys upgrading to Solar State Drive 256. And I can show you guys, you can use either 840 Pro or I installed 850 Pro, and that one's 256. Or you can use the Intel Solar State Drive, pretty good actually, that one. So the, the, I'm using a Caddy, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. This is just a generic version, um, it has no model number on it. But they do sell it online, I see. And what I have to do is put the screws on it. But yeah, this bra, this bra, uh, Caddy, forgot. You can install one solid state drive, or you can install 2.5 inch on the top right here. So her laptop hard drive, you could do that. So it'd be. Try to go around it. You can see. And you gotta connect uh, SATA and power cable. And the SATA cable, where's the, okay, it's over here in the back. So you guys, we upgraded the video card from hard drive to solid state drive, 2.5 inch, 256 power supply, and we upgraded the CPU to quad core, and we upgraded the memory. And you guys are gonna be using for, you can install Windows 10 on it, perfectly fine, I tested, and uh, what you're gonna do is, if you guys are gonna be doing clean install Windows 10, then you can uh, get the drivers from nvidia.com for the latest drivers for the video card. If you guys are gonna be using like a GTX 950, then this power supply does have 
six pin for the CPU power, so it'll work perfectly fine. So let me close the side cover panel and we're done. See you guys, thanks for watching, bye.